Welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we are going to solve y double prime plus 2y prime plus 5 equals 0 using the Laplace transform. Now, before we start, there's a point of this problem, and it's to practice. It's to practice using the Laplace transforms of e to the at cosine omega t. And remember, we found that this was, um, this is s minus a over s minus a squared plus omega squared. And the other one that we solved, and the Laplace transform of e to the a t sine omega t, well, this was equal to, or still is, <laughs> omega over s minus a squared plus omega squared. All right, we're going to need those for this problem today. All right, let's begin. Let's begin, we're gonna apply the Laplace transform to both sides. So we have the Laplace transform of y double prime plus two times the Laplace transform of y prime plus, oops, a five y in my equation, plus uh, five times the Laplace transform of y and the Laplace transform of zero is zero. So the, let's go through these. The Laplace transform of y double prime is s squared, capital Y of s, minus s times y of zero, minus y prime of zero, plus, this is going to be two times the Laplace of y prime, that's s y of s minus y of zero, plus, plus we have five times Laplace transform of y, which is y of s. All right, let's do two things here. First thing I want to do is, is move my initial conditions over, and then I'm also going to factor out my y of s's. So if I factor out the y of s, that's going to leave me with an s squared uh, plus 2s plus 5, and so now I move all of my other terms over. So I have an s, y of 0, plus y prime of 0, plus, uh, oops, minus, no, it becomes a plus, sorry, plus 2y of zeros when I move it over to the other side. Okay, so y of s, I'm going to divide through y of s is equal to, now when I'm going to work on this, the first term here has an s in it, the other two terms do not, so I'm going to keep those together. So how about we do this as s y of 0 over, um, over s squared plus 2s plus 5, plus y prime of 0 plus 2y of 0 over s squared plus 2s plus 5. Okay, here we go. Now, notice that as this stands right now, nothing like this in here represents what we need to do. And also, if you look at this, this polynomial would be prime. There's, it doesn't factor, so we can't apply partial fractions. So what we're going to do is two things. I'm going to write this. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, no, let's write it this way. I'm going to write the y of 0 in front. And then let's write our fraction. Here's our s in the numerator. And leave yourself some space in that numerator. In the denominator, we're going to complete the square. So in other words, I take half of the 2 on the 2s, that's a 1, I square it to get a 1. So my parentheses become s plus 1 squared. And since I added 1, I need to subtract 1. So 5 minus 1 would be 4. OK. Plus, and then I'm going to keep this whole piece out in front, y prime of 0 plus 2 y of 0 times 1 over, and we it has the same same uh, denominator, so s plus 1 squared plus 4. Now, 
Here's where this gets interesting. Notice that neither of these match the uh, Laplace transforms up above. In other words, notice that for this first one, for this first one, I need to have, since I have an s plus 1 in the parentheses, I would need an s plus 1 in the numerator. Or, well, I can do that. I'm going to add 1. There it is. Now it matches. But you're like, you can't do that. And you're, you're right, you can't. But if you add 1 and then you subtract 1, you can. Now, in the same way, notice that in the second one there's no s's. So this one fits more of the pattern of the, the, uh, sign, the Laplace transform with the sign. Well, it, what's in the numerator is the square root of the 4 that's in the denominator. So if I have a 4 in the denominator, I would need a 2 in the numerator. So I can do this by multiplying by 2 over 2. So now let's break these up. So now I have y of 0 times, and I'm going to break this fraction. This is s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 4 minus, and then I'm going to have a 1 over s, oops, 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 4 uh, plus, and now we're going to have this entire big numerator here over 2. So we're going to have a y prime of 0 plus 2y of 0 over 2 times 2 over s plus 1 squared plus 4. There it is. And now we're almost done. The only thing we need to do is get a different color, like this pretty blue here. And notice that I can transform all of these. But the only thing I'm going to need is to put a 2 and a 1 half on my second term. And now look at this. This first term, this first term here, has the form of the cosine, omega, the, the uh, Laplace transform of e to the at cosine omega t. The next two, the next two have the forms of the Laplace transforms e to the at sine omega t. So if we take the inverse Laplace transform, we're going to end with y of t equals my initial condition, so y of 0. And then this first one, since it's plus 1, this is going to be a my e to the minus 1t cosine of an omega is 2, so cosine of 2t. And then we're going to have a minus 1 half e to the minus t, but this one is a sine, oops, sine 2t. And then we're going to have plus, oh, this is a big one, plus y prime of 0 plus 2y of 0 all over 2 times e to the minus t sine of 2t. And you could go, looks like probably one step further, and you could combine your signs. So let's do that. y of t is equal to y of 0 e to the minus t cosine 2t plus, and I'm going to write it this way, so a big, this big huge numerator, which is, or a coefficient, which is going to be y prime. Oh, they have a common denominator. Shoot, so all I have to do is just write this as y prime of 0 plus 2 times y of 0 minus 1. All of that is over 2 times e to the minus t sine of 2t. And there it is, which solved that problem. Notice that in this case, one of the beauties of the Laplace transform is that the initial conditions come with the answer. We don't have to solve for them later. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.